Hello and welcome to the screencast. In this screencast, I show you an editor for business process models, uh, which can generate executable BPL code from a structured business process. Uh, BPL is a business process execution language, which is based on XML. Uh, so to see how this works, uh, we first draw a business process here. It consists of a pool, a start event, an end event, and let's add some intermediate events here and some activities and two gateways. Then uh, we have to connect these components to get a correct structured business process model. At the moment, this is still, still black and not highlighted. This means um, the process has not been correctly recognized yet. So let's see. Uh, we can give uh, the events a type. For instance, let this be a wait event. Let this be a receive event. So that you can see we can uh, give these uh, components a type. And it's still not correct. Uh, the reason is that we um, have to decide which kind of gateway this is. Let's say this is a parallel gateway. And this, let this be... If, if we, uh, we have to choose a parallel gateway here again, if we uh, make this an exclusive, exclusive gateway, it's still not correct. But if we assign parallel here, you see it gets blue. It has been correctly recognized as a business process. Okay, so how can we uh, generate um, BPL code from this process? Um, first of all, you have to ensure that semantic output is switched on. Therefore, you have to um, open the Preferences dialog, go to the Semantics tab, and enable Semantics output. Okay? Otherwise, you will not see anything. And uh, the BPL code now is uh, output to, uh, uh, to, to the standard output. So we can always look here, where we have uh, started the program, and here the BPL code will appear. Um, so, but first we have to change something because we just enabled the semantics output. Now, okay, now we have our process code here. This is uh, XML. Um, you see that, uh, let's arrange this. Let's put this so that we can see all the thing. Uh, we see that we have here a sequence. This is, uh, this is basically the sequence. And then we have a parallel gateway. This is in BPL, a flow element. And uh, then uh, we have two uh, subflows. Uh, the first one is the top. This is a sequence again, uh, consisting of a wait event and an invoke activity. And uh, the bottom flow uh, is just a receive event, okay? Uh, now let's see what happens if we make this gateway, for instance, an exclusive gateway. Then the code looks different, of course. Let's make this an exclusive gateway. Uh, now it, uh, it's not a flow uh, element anymore, but rather a, a switch. And uh, here you see um, you have this structure that uh, has to follow the switch. We have here a case, but um, not no condition yet. So we can we can add here conditions. This is condition one, and let this be condition two. And now uh, we can see here condition one, condition two, and um, this is a condition of the exclusive of the exclusive event. Of course, we can also assign, for instance, activities, act one, for instance, then uh, you will also find this here in the BPL code. So um, for a correct structured business process model, this editor generates the corresponding BPL code. Um, if the process is not correct, for instance, let's add, let's change the type here, it's not correct anymore, then uh, no semantic, um, whoops, just a second. no semantic output is, um, is given here. Yeah, there's no XML here. If we change this again, then we have 
our output again. Okay, so uh, a parser is used here, which uh, constructs a derivation tree, and uh, we use attribute evaluation rules uh, on the grammar uh, to generate this XML piece here. Okay, and this uh, works for arbitrarily complex processes. For instance, uh, we can add some more activities here using maybe an operation. Let's insert some activities, and then uh, this gets uh, uh, deeper nested. So we have more sequences here, you see. And we can also add, for instance, let's remove this and oops. This is not a bug, it's a feature. Um, let's add the other type of gateway here. Like this. To see that this all works smoothly together except for this little feature I've just shown you. <laughs> so let's make this a parallel gateway. Okay, and this one also a parallel gateway. Then it gets beautified and uh, the process, the people code is outputted here and we see we have here the switch. This is the exclusive gateway and uh, here the flow of the parallel gateway. Okay. Uh, do not for, uh, forget to enable the semantic output in the preferences dialog to try this out. And the web address where you can download the editor uh, is uh, given below in the video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the screencast and see you next time. Bye-bye.